talk a little bit about Reynolds and the entire situation that blew up in the last episode that aired. What can you share about how everyone is going to be dealing with that betrayal and the consequences of the resistance really getting blown up? Yeah, it's pretty simple. We all get together and we pick him up and we throw him off the top floor of New Amsterdam. That's it. It's really simple. It it feels swift and just. (laughs) No, yeah, I think obviously the easy thing to say is like, oh, he's a snitch. He's a rat. He like, you know, the immediate emotional response to that is anger um, and outrage. But I think from an Iggy point of view, which maybe we could all take a little more often, he tries to see the humanity, you know, in, in people. And even in that scene, I think when he was leaving the room and everyone was glaring at him, I, I found a moment to look at him like with more sort of curiosity than anger. Just like what, wonder where he's coming from. And as we know, he's a good man who is coming from a place of wanting to do the right thing and keep people safe. And, and also everyone's like really kind of flailing without Max there, you know? So he's just trying to do the right thing. He even said earlier in the episode, I think that he would, he felt like everything was falling apart at the hospital. He doesn't know what to do anymore. And in a roundabout way was kind of asking what to do. And so he got, he got, he got blindsided by a lot of big decisions and, and ultimately did the right thing. Um, so I think, you know, we will eventually come back together. The damn fam is strong, but he's, he's in the doghouse for sure. Everyone's like, you know, Iggy got demoted. Um, Lauren got fired, right? She was going to resign, but then <laughs> got fired. Uh, Wilder has been forced to stay by way of threat. It's like, it's ugly, man. There's a lot of stuff that happened there. So yeah, he's in the doghouse, but I think that, you know, like I said, the, the fam is strong, so things will be okay, but I, I don't know when. Uh, well, so looking to the episode that's airing, Iggy is in a situation where there's a very, very complicated family case he's dealing with. What are you allowed to preview about the situation? I'll tell you that it was very topical for me, and I think it will be for a lot of people. Um, a father and son come in uh, having sort of having a lot of complications arise from the fact that his son was in a, a mass shooting, involved in a mass shooting, and the father doesn't believe that he was. He thinks it was all staged. Um, and I think the, the, the bottom line for Iggy is that, and I think some of us can relate to this, we feel like we've lost people to the internet. We've lost people to QAnon. We've lost people going down the rabbit hole of the internet. I don't even want to say QAnon because left, you know, the left can go as far down a rabbit hole as well. But I think the idea at the end of the day is like, do you want a relationship with these people? Do you want a relationship or do you want to be right? And I think that's sort of where it falls with, with Iggy and, uh, and this father and son relationship is like walking the line of, you may have to do some uncomfortable things here that would feel like losing something, but it's the only thing you can really do to salvage a relationship with each other. So it's a, it's a really topical and really tricky emotional storyline. Um, I'm proud of it. I'm proud of the way we did it. I'm proud of the way Ryan Eggold directed the situation. And <clears throat> I think people are really gonna, are gonna feel impacted by it, so. Well, and you have a fun guest star in uh, Lee Turgeson. Who's Lee Turgeson, yeah. Yeah, yeah, what, I didn't know if I was like, yeah. What yeah, can you say about playing opposite him? Oh, man, he, it was such a neat room because Lee is like a vet, consummate pro. I, I kept forgetting, and I'm, I'm a pro too. I've been doing this for like 35 years, but I kept doing that thing where I kept forgetting I was in a scene with him especially when it wasn't my coverage. I was just watching him and he just, he would make all these little choices, these very strong, but subtle nuanced choices. And and then the, the guy, the, the, the young man playing the son, it was his, one of his first gigs. He had never really acted before. He, I think he maybe had one or two gigs and, uh, and he, and I could just see him like figuring things out and learning what we could do and having Ryan help direct him. And it was just a neat, there's a, there was a neat energy to the scenes because we had Lee there. And uh, I think it, it's going to be really fun to watch. I never know if fun is the right descriptive. It's going to be challenging to watch. 